Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're gonna do some explosive plane crashes. And I think the best place to do that is probably gonna be Desert Highway because we need a nice big, wide open area to do this. All right, to do this we need a B25 Mitchell because that is the only plane there is in Beam and G Drive that comes with bombs by default. Sure, you could strap some propane tanks to assess them and call those bombs, but they're not consistent, and I want something nice and consistent, like the B-25 with bombs. And we have to equip the bombs twice in the part selector, because I don't trust that thing. Like, it doesn't say bombs, so I'm like, they're probably not equipped. It. So we do it twice, and now we for sure have bombs, but we can make sure by trying to drop the bombs right here. And it's like, yep, bombs are good. It also makes sure the bombs are going to be armed for when we drop the plane in from the air. And the reason I do this, instead of flying it into the air and then flying it into the ground, is because I'm sure you guys would be really bored of watching me fly a plane into the air for 10 minutes, get a crash, and fly into the air again for 10 minutes, get a crash, and be like, well, that's 20 minutes, that's kind of a video length, and I go for it, so that's the end of the video. No. If we spawn it in the air and then let the plane just come down all on its own, you get videos that are much more interesting, because you get like a dozen crashes in a matter of minutes, versus... A crash per dozen minutes. So here's the first crash, just to make sure everything's working according to plan. Perfect. Except the plane glitched out, which we can work around if we need to. But for now, that is exactly what I want to be seeing. The next step is to spawn a target vehicle, which is whatever vehicle ends up being spawned for now. So we spawn up the truck, and that'll be the target. We want to hit him. And this plane is in ghost plane mode. I don't know if it'll affect the flight. I'm pretty sure it won't affect, affect where it lands for something like that. But it looks weird having the ghost plane, so I'm going to give it a nice, normal-looking plane. And they should be coming into my left-ish. Yep. And the explosion will hit my truck just a little bit. Relatively safe crash for the truck right there. So we can go ahead and reset the plane. And let's see, will my truck drive to the crash site? So I guess if I sit right here, it should be... Oh, not quite where the plane is. So we got to move a little bit forward from that. Ooh. There's a hit. There's a hurting on my truck. Did the plane glitch out? Okay, there's a plane that glitched out. And my truck is, well, he's actually not frozen physics glitched out, but that's definitely abnormal. So we go ahead and reset the plane, then reset him, and we're going to try to really line him up in the right spot. We're going to line him right there. So the plane should be just barreling at me. And it should pretty much hit me this time. The first few, we're kind of seeing what it looks like when you're near me. This one's what you ha what you get when you actually have an impact. And I have the slow-mo on a little early because this is a like 200 mile power crash, right? So I'm thinking we might want to even do a hundred times slow-mo just to be able to see it clearly. I think just for this one we're going to do a hundred times, see if it's worth it. Oh, I think this is worth it. You can really see the truck getting crushed. And also the plane getting crushed as well. Well, the plane kind of just disappears when it hits things. And there's the boom. With four bombs being blown up at once, though, this is really likely to probably just cause a lot of glitchy explosion crashes. Like, yep, right there. The sound's gone, so obviously something's not working, right? Uh-huh, yep, that's a glitch. Go and unfreeze physics, because the game froze it for me. And do it again, because it froze them again. Each explosion is freezing physics. That's uh, not good. Wait, physics isn't even frozen. What's going on here? I've really ruined things. All I know is all I can see is the white of the bomb. Like on my truck. That's all I can see. This is a serious explosion we have right here. I can't see nothing. I see nothing. Oh, I really see nothing now. Game's like, I'm glitching out on you. You know what? You made me angry. Okay, what is going on? <laughs> It just keeps going, blowing up more and more. How much blowing up can you do? There's nothing even here to be blowing up. Why are you blowing up? How you doing, truck? Yeah, it looks funny. After all that, it's like, the truck is fine. It's really not. It's cheating. All right, let's try, um... Did I freeze that in time? Close enough. I was going to do a real-time crash. That'll actually work out well enough because that part I didn't care about. It's what happens afterwards I want to see in real time. So right here. Oh, laggy, 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 and that is a huge explosion, and the plane disappeared. And my truck's exploding still. Oh, my, I didn't expect that. The truck's like, the bombs are they're invisible now. I can't see them, but they still hurt. All right, so the everything is running at really low frame rate right here. I don't know what's up with that. It's hurting, man. Oh, 
it's probably the plane. I should probably just reset him. Oh yeah, one of the pieces like got launched into the air. It's traveling at five hundred something miles per hour. That's just crazy. Reset it and it's like, oh, there's my frame rate. I missed you. I right, see. So here's another idea. Do it from the interior of the plane. Let's actually go slow on this. Because if we do it at a hundred times slow mo, you saw how slow and laggy that was. You're not gonna see anything. You're gonna be like boop 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 and just nothing. And boop 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 is a frame each. Each boop is a frame. Because of the lag. See this one? I'm like, look at me crush this truck. Ow! I'm hitting the truck with my face. It's not a good thing to do. I probably am dead from a 200 mile per hour crash or 200 mile per hour headbutt into a truck. Yeah, you don't live those. And I can't tell what's going on anymore. Like, I just know there is some chaos going on around me. And I'm a ghost by now. Like, there's no way I'm surviving this. I'm ghost. Alright, let's switch cameras to actually try to figure out what's happening here. Oh! Every physics is frozen again! I am the best at breaking PMG Drive. I swear, nobody's as good as me at breaking this game. Alright, reset both. Got a ghost plane again. Alright, where's my truck? After all that, my truck's just like, oh, I'm fine. Oh, I broke some of the camera angles, didn't I? I don't like when that happens. It's inconvenient. See, some of the camera angles just show pure white now. Freeze physics! I don't know why I did that. I don't know what the plan was here. I was just showing off the cameras and I didn't really have a plan. So how about this? Reset both. And since it seems like uh, four bombs is too many, here's a trick to do only three bombs. The first thing you're going to want to do is do a full reset of the plane and then you would just drop three bombs. Well actually, you know, I'm going to tone things down even more. I'm going to drop one bomb. So we only have one bomb that's going to explode on impact. The other ones will also explode, but hopefully they'll explode at a later point which means the crash will be a little less severe. Now I now have to once again figure out where this thing is going to hit because I'm pretty sure it'll hit at a slightly different position because of the new uh, setup. So it looks like it's going to hit on the road right behind my truck and it still is exploding really hard. So maybe there is no fix to this. The whole explodes too hard. This is just a crazy huge bomb exploding. It's going to cause messes. That's just what it does. It makes messes. Yep. All right. You know what? How about this? Let's uh, let's try switching the vehicle out. I'm getting bored of seeing the truck getting blown up. We need something that's actually substantial. Like we put a uh, another B25 Mitchell without bombs to get blown up. That might be fun. Might have to back it up a little bit. I'm not sure here. Eight times slower because I hear it. What the? Hey, you missed. You're fired. I have no idea why they would have missed. You better not miss again, dude. There. That is annoying that it's inconsistent in the location that it hits. Like, I have no idea what would have caused that. Now it's a ghost plane. Hopefully the bombs will still work when it's in ghost mode. Forgot to look and check. Bombs, will you work? I love how it just tears off my tail fin so hard. Part of it is still floating in the air somehow. I don't know if that's actually supposed to happen. I mean, like, if that's actually happening, period, I should say. Like, that thing might actually be floating there because it was such a speed and stuff, or... It might be a glitch that it's floating there. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, that was great. I should have thought about that. If one plane is glitchy, two planes will be glitchy Er, Yeah. Smart there, huh? Really thought that one through. Weird. I thought I hit real time already. Guess not. Alright, so the plane's gonna roll backwards, and then it'll be hit at a different position, hopefully. Be like, right on the front. Slow-mo, 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 oh, slow-mo was late. Where's the bomb? Where'd the boom? Well then, that was unexpected. Maybe this plane, when it hit the, the center of it, it's so massive that it actually worked as a cushion. So then the bomb didn't explode. That really would be interesting, I wonder if I could do that again. Like, that's my best guess, is the plane worked as a cushion! Little glitchy, little glitchy. That is cool. That, like, if that's really what's happening, that is really cool. Hold on, let me move this plane out the way and see if it blows up without it. Because if it does blow up, that is awesome. 
Yeah. Oh, that is. Oh man, I love that. That is just. That is really cool to me. The plane is a cushion. All right, so let's try the MAZ. Cause he's amazing. So small compared to the plane. It also worked as a cushion. I think it worked in a different way though because it grabbed the wing and it kind of stopped all the momentum while it tore off the wing and scraped the main fuel slodge it looked like. That was... Dude, that's cool that you could use a big vehicle to stop the explosion entirely. I'm sure if we armed all four bombs, they would, one of them would go off. But right now we have only one bomb that's really, um, like, <clears throat> excuse me, likely to go off. The other ones, they're only going to blow up if the first one blows up. And ideally, they blow up in a way where they don't do a lot of damage. So right there, it's hitting it on the back end. That's probably going to blow up. Yeah. So it didn't have all that cushion to it, like it does when it hits the uh, cabin and stuff. All right, well, that's cool. I really like that way that works out. Let me set the plane, because it's going to not give me enough time to line up my MZ in the position. There we go, in the position. Cushion it. I love how the MAZ actually bends the plane though too. It's like, I am stronger than you. Well, kind of. Kind of bends it. Alright, that looks like a good cushioning. Let's see, that one, I don't know, it looked like a hard impact though, the way it just hit. It's hard to say if it's going to blow up. Looks like it might not. It, always, it sometimes takes a second though. Yeah, that cushioned it. Oh! I love the cushions! Like, for some reason to me, I love that. That is so cool, you can cushion things. Alright, I don't know something that would work as a really good cushion. If I can find it, before the plane comes. I hear the plane! Wait, plane, hold on, I gotta find it. The high-res cube, that should work as a good cushion. Reset the plane one more time, so I can make sure I line this all up now. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let the plane come down and then line up the high-res cube to it, because... Lining up the MAZ or the other plane is relatively easy because they're so big. High risk cube is pretty small. So to actually make it hit this is difficult unless you kind of cheat it. Which is what I'm doing. Because I'm a cheater. Not really. I mean, it's like how can you cheat in a game that's basically do whatever you want with a physics engine? You do what the, you have fun with. If cheating and messing around is fun, that's what you do. And it's really, again, how is that cheating? I don't know. Teleporting is legal. Alright, so we're going to say, freeze physics right here. Take the cube, and we're going to put it right under the plane. Like, right... Whoops, that's a little too close. There. And it'll actually hit the cube, and then hit it into the ground this way. I don't know if that'll make things worse, but we'll see. Alright, unfreeze physics. Cushioning! Cushioning! Will it be enough of a cushion? Like, that thing worked as a good cushion before, I know that. The question is, will it work on a plane that's flying through the air while it's also in the air? Uh, I guess it will! Oh, I love cushions. That is just, that is so cool to me for some reason, being able to cushion things. Then you have the anti-cushion. The, the, like, the, uh, steamroller. Whoops, I didn't select it. Oh, hey, cushioned it again, though. Anyways, the anti-cushion, the steamroller, which will probably just glitch out. Also, it has no brakes, so it might just roll away before it gets here. Oh, uh, what the? Plane. Oh, steamroller, I'm so sorry, you flew away. Plane seems fine, I don't know why it missed. Blow up the steamroller. Little slow-mo, little slow-mo, ah. Really? It hit the wheel and that was- like, right here, the height I'm at is, like, the perfect height to make anything a cushion. Now, that really isn't necessarily a good thing, because I want booms. And to get booms, we gotta go way up into the air and make sure that it explodes on impact. And if it still doesn't explode, the best bet might just be, um, switching it out to the four bomb method again. But I'm pretty sure if we bring it way into the air like this, it'll be enough to blow it up pretty much every time. It worked without a cushion still. I mean, it's definitely relating to when it hits something solid versus something that's not solid, if it blows up or not. Alright, so I have slow-mo on the steamroller, so I'm just going to teleport it into position when the plane gets close. Where is the plane? 
And he's moving so fast. He'll be close before you know it. Like, is he close? Is he close? He's close. All right, so we'll just freeze physics, grab my steam roller, and bring it in a little more with the uh, plane. I almost had it, but not quite. I want to actually get hit and see if I can cushion it with a steamroller. It shouldn't be able to with the additional height, but that's what testing's for. It's to determine if that's true. So that should be good enough. What the? No! No, 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 no. Oh, you pinged in the butt. Well, that's interesting. I glitched it into the inside of it, so... Anything goes in this circumstance. It did blow it up. Man, look at how fast things are breaking. It's just like, this one broke, this one broke, this one broke, this one, this one, this one, this one. Everything is breaking. It just needs to say, all nodes have broken. What are you doing? I would love if it said that. Uh, uh... Like, the, the steamroller just landed with an explosion itself right there. Alright, so now we can get a normal crash into this thing. Well, as normal as it gets when you slam a plane with bombs into a vehicle that's sitting on the ground. 8 times slow-mo should be okay. And there's the boom! Where'd the steamroller go? Oh. You don't look so hot, man. Let me reset you up. I don't want you hurting. Well, I'm kind of getting uh, bored of this idea because I feel like I've done most of uh, what I wanted to do with it. Probably figure out a couple more things we could do that are interesting, maybe. Like, uh, what if we put the the ball right here? I hope it don't roll away, because if you roll away, I'll be angry at you. Where's the plane? Where is the plane? Oh, it's in slow-mo, so it's just really slow. No rolling allowed. You are not no rolling guy. And if you don't know what a rolling guy is, that's a Tokyo Extreme Racers reference. That's a good game. Anyways, let's see here. Beautiful. Now this is a ball. Which actually doubles as a cushion, because compared to the super solid ground, that thing is so soft. Oh, that thing really cushioned it up. Oh, it might blow up on the second bounce, though. Nope. It did a nice dent to the ball, though. Try moving the ball right a little bit. Oh, not the plane. Oh, I just ruined the plane's positioning. Well, then, I guess that'll do it for this video series, then, because I don't feel like landing up the plane anyways, and that was, truthfully, the last thing I was going to try, because I'm pretty much out of ideas for things I could do for this kind of idea because it feels like it's run out of things to do like you can hit the ufo but the ufo really doesn't get blown up you can hit a different car but i already hit the truck which is pretty much the same for any vehicle it's gonna glitch it out so there's no point in that i could try to hit the hq but it's so small i would never be able to yeah that's all i got so until next time this is ybr i'll see ya